Mark Wildman recently visited some Georgia 4 H students in Oconee County that are learning a valuable lesson about financing and farming. The students are involved in a corn club that teaches them not only how farmers produce a crop of corn, but see how farmers turn the crop in the field into money in the bank. On a very hot and humid Georgia morning, these 4 H students in Oconee County are learning a very valuable lesson in agriculture. They are a part of a corn club that is designed to teach them about how corn is grown and, more importantly, how the crop is sold. Oconee County Extension Coordinator Monty Stevens and County Extension Agent Kelly Ashley work with the students and teach them about how farmers turn crops into cash. I hope that these kids learn the science behind this and the business side that agriculture takes just a lot of bits and pieces to come together to make this thing work because we have a generation that needs to learn about these factors that where, that, where does their food come from? And these young people here don't live on farms, but they are getting a great lesson on where their food comes from and how it's produced. The sweet corn is grown on a UGA test plot by UGA researcher Dr. Nick Hill. He uses seed donated by Monsanto and grows the crop using clover as the crop's primary source of nitrogen. The students not only are learning the finance of farming, but they are also learning about good stewardship of the land. We have seven 4-H'ers that has, have participated since February, and we've met weekly uh, through the spring, and now during the summer months, we've worked daily in the fields. After the corn is picked, they load it up and haul it to a local grocery store, where they unload on the dock, and the corn is displayed and sold in the store. Our 4-H'ers have learned a, a lot about entrepreneurship. They've designed a business model. They've learned how to promote and market their product so the kids know how to get the product from the fields to the grocery store. Vice President of Bell's Food Market Incorporated, Russ Bell, buys the corn from the club and is very pleased with the arrangement he has with them. Oh, it's, it's been a no-lose situation. The, um, the kids have been great to work with, uh, their leader, uh, Nick Hill's been great to work with. The product is incredible. Um, it's a summer commodity that, um, you know, everybody enjoys, you know, this time of year. And um, it's really been a win-win for everybody, in my opinion. Not only does the store enjoy helping students learn, but they enjoy selling a really good product. We had some people that were getting the uh, other corn that they, we were getting in from our supplier and uh, have, have had customers come by them and tell them they needed to come back here to get their corn because it was the best stuff that they'd, uh, they'd had in years. And um, I mean, word of mouth. So you had, other, had customers telling other customers, you need to put that back, come back up here to the front and get the corn. The Corn Club has been a huge success and organizers hope to expand the program next year. So not only more consumers can enjoy the great tasting corn, but also more students can learn how to make a living off the land. In Oconee County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.